Hello, I'm Jeannie. Today, I'll tell you one of the Korean fairy tales, The Grabber Grandmother. It is a mysterious, beautiful story and also instructive. Please enjoy it. The Grabber Grandmother. Long ago in the deep woods, there was a cottage that was going to fall down in any moment. There lived a grandfather and a grandmother who were very poor. Okay, I will go up to the mountain. He took a shovel. He went up the mountain. He dug a hole to make a trap. This old man made a living by selling the animal that got caught in the trap. I wish a big animal would fall into the trap. Several days later, the old man returned. He could see that the branches had fallen into the trap. His heart was leaping. He thought a big animal had been trapped there. He approached it slowly. There was a big animal. It was a deer. It was trying to get out. At that moment, the deer knelt down and bowed. He thought it was weird. Sir, please help me. I'm not a deer. That's strange. You are a deer. But why are you saying you are not? Yes, I'm not a deer. Please trust me. I was an angel from the heaven. What? Are you an angel? It's so strange. An angel is wearing a mask of a deer. Sir, it's true. Please listen to my story. The deer started crying and told him how she became a deer. The angel lived in heaven. One day, she didn't listen to the king of heaven. So from then on, she was changed as a deer. Please take a pity on me and take me out of here. Okay, I will help you. So he put a stick in and the deer climbed out of it. Once it got out, it bowed to Grandpa again and again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, run fast. Thank you, sir. What do you think? Is the deer an angel or is she a liar? The deer bowed many times and ran to the forest. He watched it go. He came back home. <clears throat> I'm home. What about the animal? Nothing? I mean, you couldn't even catch a small bunny. Don't be so angry. Then, you caught something? Actually, I caught a deer. So? I let it go. What are you talking about? You let the deer go? Come, let's go into the room. I will tell you all about it. He told her everything. He even mentioned that the deer was an angel. You were foolish to just let it go. Then... What was I supposed to do? You should have let it go after she granted your wish. What kind of wish? You could have asked the deer for a nice house. But it's too late to say that now. No, I don't think so. In the morning, go right to the mountain. Meet the deer and say your wish. I don't know. Will I be able to meet that deer again? Anyway, go there in the morning. So he went to the mountain. Deer, deer, where are you? A little bit later, the deer stood in front of him. Hello? Deer. Yes, sir. Do you have something to talk to me? It's not something I have to hurry. What is it? Please speak. I saved your life. So, I wish you could grant my wish. Say it. What is your wish? I live in a cottage now. I want to live in a house that has tiles on the roof. If that's your wish, I'll do it. Thank you, dear. It's nothing. You saved my life. As the deer promised, the old man's house was no longer a cottage, and it returned into a big house. The old woman was dancing. The old man was so excited that he couldn't speak a word. Oh. The old man wiped his tears and looked at it again. It really was a house that he wished for. Honey. Look, what did I say? The deer really granted my wish. <laughs> it's a great house. But something strange happened. The old woman tried to persuade her husband. The house is big, but we have nothing inside it. What do we not have? Look, there is nothing inside the house. He looked inside. There was nothing. Go tomorrow and ask for something more. If we want to get something, let's work hard and get it. You're really not going? Are you angry? Of course. If you don't want to, I will go there. He went up the mountain early in the morning. What should I say? Maybe he won't listen to me. He said to himself, 
but he thought he couldn't go back now. Dear, dear, where are you? The deer came out. Hello, sir. Dear. Yes. How have you been? Did your wish come true? Yes. Thanks for the house. It's okay. You saved my life. But do you have another wish? Yes. I'm sorry, but I have another wish. Tell me your wish. The house is big, but we don't have any furniture in the house. Okay. Then go along this road. There will be a lot of things in your house. Really? Of course. Thank you. Bye. He went to his house. He saw his house and he was surprised. Every room was filled with furniture. Thank you. They lived happily for a while, but one day, the grandma asked her husband for something more. Honey, met the deer one more time. For what? Give me a person to work in the house. You can't do that. We asked the deer two times already. How can I ask for more again? Okay, I will go and ask. Okay, I will go. He went to the mountain again. When he met the deer, he didn't know what to say. Do you have another wish? Tell me. My wife is too tired to clean the house. You need a servant to clean the house? Yes. I wish you could give us one. Okay, go to your house. But what happened? There was the house they lived in before. His wife was crying in the house. Look what happened. I told you, being so greedy, everything is screwed up. I'm sorry. Please go and meet the deer and say that I don't need a person to work. What? Ask for another wish? From now on, I will not. Then I will go. You care about that. Everything is gone. What will happen next? She went early into the mountain. She thought the deer would listen to her. Deer, deer, please come out. She couldn't see the deer. Please. In the meantime, the deer was talking with the old man. His wife, who had gone to the mountain, returned in sorrow. But when she came near home, she couldn't believe her eyes. Oh. Everything was as before. I'm sorry, dear. There's no end in one's greed. Don't be so greedy, Grandma. I was so greedy. From now on, I will be. Good thinking. Now I have to go back to heaven. It turned into an angel and climbed on the rainbow. Goodbye. The old woman became a kind person, and they lived happily ever after. Sometimes things go wrong when you are extremely greedy. But without grandmother's greed, could they have had the house and all those furniture? Hopefully not. Proper greed gives us passion and power to grow and develop ourselves. The next story is coming up, so please subscribe. Thank you.